Well, 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 what is this? Better late than never. Gonna try out something new this year, a Scots brand. I can't tell you the last time I used something Scots, but this here, we'll talk about more down the road, but as you can see, it's a 32010 and 21.8% urea nitrogen. You've probably already figured it out, but this is for, ah, there it is, Winter Guard. So let's talk about Winter Guard, Winter Riser, and basically the last app preferred for your line. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? It's Beardless Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys so much for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina, my lawn. Yeah, I know it's no shave November, but I couldn't take it. Uh, actually, to be honest with you guys, the last video when I turned and I saw how patchy and ugly that facial hair was. I was like, man, I need to go ahead and just trim that off for a while. Uh, I may look a little different to you, but it's the same old Mr. Ferguson here to uh, vlog and blog about my lawn. So thank you so much for checking out the video. Um, thank you if you uh, watch the past couple videos. We've been featuring my neighbors here on the channel. Very excited, very thrilled to show off their progress, their hard work. Um, so go check out the special midweek edition of the midweek quickie this past Wednesday video, as well as the one before that we checked out and did an update on Mr. Charles, Mr. Brandon and Mr. Kevin's lawn. So go check out those two videos if you haven't seen them. Those guys have worked hard and uh, we're just regular guys trying to have a great looking lawn. So uh, go check out their progress. Today's video, I want to talk about something that's all over the internet. You can find videos from every channel probably about this and it's the term winterizer and there's a lot behind it hopefully in the beginning of this video i showed you the box that came in for me i'm going with a different type of quote winterizer this year i'm going to use a scott's um scott's brand uh, fertilizer so there's a couple things i want to go over real fast about winterizer um, of course most of you that are watching if you're familiar with lawn care you've been into lawn care you probably know everything we're going to talk about today but there's some out there that are new to it and i think it could be educational form so i'm going to set up the tripod back here so that i cannot have all these beeping and people driving around my ear right behind me so let's go back there let's talk about winterizer what it is why we care about it why it's all over youtube and how it can help or how it affects you and your lawn by the way look at mr brandon jard coming in nice and you see the stripes and i think my flagship has begun to release that slow release portion the 25 percent because we've been about the same color for a long time and now i was like man i swear my grass is getting darker I think either his nitrogen levels begin to very fade very faintly or that slow release is beginning to release in mine um, because of the timing of when we put it down. So man, it's just so gorgeous with the leaves. I need to get out here and, and get rid of the leaves, but man, it's just so beautiful out here. I, I like looking out my window again. So real quick, I don't want to bore anybody to death. I don't want to get out here and make this a whole long talking segment. Some of you, as we just miss, mentioned, may know everything about this. You know exactly what it is. I appreciate it. Thank you. Comment below if I leave something out because I'm not going to be able to cover everything in a short amount of time that we have here in this video. But for my new folks, as you may have heard, the word winterizer. There's just four little points I want to bring up here the hair on my sticky the word winterizer it's a marketing term when they put winterizer on a bag it's like oh this is for the winter time so just like they put summer blend and all of this it's more of a marketing term to sell another bag of fertilizer oh i need this fertilizer because it's for winter well there's some truth in that a little bit um what is the purpose of quote winterizer well really all it really means is your last bag of fertilizer for the season and so that's really what it is and they've dubbed that winterizer from scott's from stay green from all these different places so that's what the word winterizer is so what is the purpose of the you know winterizer well as the last app for our lawn it's the last bit of shot of nitrogen now Here's the thing about winterizers. It's not meant to be for this year. What we're doing and what the, the experts and what the pros have put out there on YouTube and have been talking about is the purpose of this last application is to get it down at the proper time, which we'll talk about here in just a second, 
and that uh, shot of nitrogen, sometimes it's a 30% 30, 30, uh, nitrogen amount. Um, the, the urea levels, some of them are 46, zero, zero. Excuse me, it's a high nitrogen shot of fertilizer. That's the purpose. Now, again, it's not for this season. When we throw that down at the proper time, it's for the grass to uptake. But then when growing stops in our cool season lawn during the cold months, that is basically potential energy, the way I think about it, stored up in our grass. It keeps our grass green all year long. And then when spring comes, boom, it bursts into energy with all of that winterizer or last fert app that you did back in the late fall early winter and it springs to life ahead of everybody else it's going to come to life it's going to green up and it's going to say here i am let's roll with all of that nitrogen it's saved so it's not using it over the period of the winter it's storing it up so that's the purpose of the term or or the application of the winterizer or the last bag of fur so when do we do this mr ferguson well if you're watching up north you're probably already aware if you've had your frost it's probably too late for you from what i've seen from listening to i've listened to a couple youtubers lately recently and also read the uh, pdf from the lawn care nut because i like to listen to what he says some people say when te soil temperatures are right around the 50s it's time to throw it down the lawn care nut i believe specifically said when when soil temperatures are around the 40s that's when it's time to throw it down your last application so depending on where you're living in the country depends on what your soil temperatures are right now somebody was talking about they're up north and they had a frost on the last video on wednesday so if you're already in frost area what is your average soil temperatures every day so is it too late should i do it now mr i don't know i'm not able to answer that question for you so mr ferguson when to throw it down when soil temperatures are close to 50s or 40s i would think i would say let's go around 45 degrees soil temperatures you're, you're on the border, let's throw it down. Why? Because when frost comes, what happens? It kills things, it stops it, the growing stops, right? It's like nature's way of saying, it's time to slow down growth. Now, growth doesn't completely ever stop in your lawn, please don't think that, but you want to get this app down, you wanna get it watered in, and you want the plant to uptake it, but then you also want the growth to, to stop because again, we don't wanna use all that now, we want it to be stored, so it's a, it's a tough thing to, to, to nail down. And if you don't do it correctly, you'll be fine. Some people, I will say that I've heard, I believe Ryan Knorr, to be honest with you, said he hates doing the uh, winterizer app because he's done it. And when spring comes, he's instantly thrusted into mowing, mowing, mowing. And he just got, he was mowing every other day and he didn't like it. So he don't even do a winterizer app. And, uh, he, and he chooses to just let the grass go to sleep. And when it wakes up, he wakes it up when he wants to. So consider that as well. The other point here is, um, so ultimately it's your best guess. Now I will tell you, I recommend the Yard Mastery app. If you, if for nothing else, it does tell you the soil temps in your area. So you can get an idea of when it may be too late for you to do this now because Mr. Ferguson put this video out too late. But if you're people around Carolina, South Carolina and around Virginia, go Virginia, it may not be too late for you guys. Um, I remember mowing all the way up into Thanksgiving last year. So North Carolina is a weird. Also keep in mind, we can throw that app down and all of a sudden we have a heat wave of 65 degrees and soil temperatures raise back up and it's like, okay, now what? So it's never gonna be perfect, just know that. The other thing is what type of fertilizer? It is recommended you don't use a slow release fertilizer. You rec it's recommended to use what's called a urea fertilizer or urea nitrogen. Urea is readily available to the plant. So as soon as you throw it down, as soon as you water it in, boom, it's readily available for that plant to take. It's not slow release or coated to where it slowly releases like what's in flagship. Now, that being said, per the lawn care nut, use whatever furt you may have in your shed as, oh, I didn't use the rest of this bag throw it down as your winterizer, put it out there and, and, and just let it be. I, it's up to you. If you want to go and purchase a, you know, a, a winterizer like myself, I've chosen to get this Scott's brand basically because my wife has been driving my vehicle and I was unable to go to the store this week and said, you know what, instead of using the rest of my flagship, which is slow release, I'm going to try Scott's winterizer product and we'll throw it down here soon because we're getting hit with some cold, uh, cool temperatures, right? Right now so in general winterizer 
It's not necessary. It's not something you have to do. It is not meant to green up your lawn for this year. It's meant to help green up your lawn quickly in the spring. It is meant to be your last fertilizer application. It is, it, if you can help it, you do not want it to be a slow release fertilizer. You want it to be a urea. Some people recommend 4600 urea. There's $60 bags on Amazon, I believe, right now, if you've got that kind of money and you want to do that. Um, so keep that in mind. We want the plant to uptake it. So if frost is coming and your yard is not growing, throwing it down, you may have missed that window. If, you're, if the soil temperatures are, you know, 50 to 45 to maybe right above 40 degrees, you may be okay to throw this down. Um, if you're still mowing regularly, I would say, obviously, growing is still happening in your area. You could put this down now and say, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to mow anymore because you're going to see when it's, okay, my yard is kind of slowed down. I'm not mowing anymore anymore so it's your best guess there's going to be heat waves this comes and so don't think that you absolutely have to this but i wanted to at least cover the topic we've done winterizer before and if you miss it i think i missed it last year it's fine so don't think it's the end of the world think about it as okay well i'm not going to be thrusted into mowing every other day when spring comes as we mentioned before so i hope covering the topic has helped somebody out there that maybe has not come across a winterizer video and me with my shivering voice has kind of encouraged you and informed you a little bit about what it is. To all my pros, to all my geniuses that watch these videos, if I've left something out, leave it in the comments below uh, as always. And you guys just check them out of what these pro guys say and we'll go from there. So for me personally, um, I'm gonna check my Yard Mastery app. I'm gonna see when I get around the 45 degree soil temperature mark. Um, I, I just cut this lawn. I'm gonna try to cut it again tomorrow, which will be Thursday for me. This video is released since Friday, so if I've already cut it, you'll know. I'll let you know. I do post updates about mows and products I get in the mail on Instagram. If you're interested in keeping up with those things, check me out on Instagram at Mr. Ferguson Lawn. Um, so I do do some updates there, not regularly, but occasionally. So. I'm, I'm planning on waiting around when my Yard Mastery app tells me we're hovering around 45 degrees soil temperatures pretty steadily, which it's chilly today. Today we're starting to get 30s, we're starting to get some 50s. We may be getting close. That's why I went ahead and ordered mine. I'll be throwing it down. I'm gonna you know, get it watered in when a good rain comes or water it in myself, and then we'll just go from there. Hopefully I've timed it right. If not, life will go on, we'll be fine. So I hope this video has helped you out. I hope if you don't know anything about the term winter Winterizer. Now you do. I'm going to throw away my little sticky note now. So let me know in the comments if this has helped you. If uh, if I missed something, if I missed, um, um, you know, um, if I didn't talk about something in the appropriate manner, help me out in the comments below. As you guys know, I'm not a professional. I'm a DIYer. This is the understanding and the simple terms that I understand these type of things. So this is what I want to relay to some of you that may want to do the same thing. So God bless you guys. Thank you for stopping by the video. I know it's not one of the most exciting, but hopefully on the next one, we'll get into another mo if we continue to have growth here. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.